All right, welcome back to Diggs Fire. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to do the 17 update. Now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the right one, either 16 or 17 to do the update properly. 17 update is actually specifically for 17 and 16, same thing. So to do that and to kind of get you into it, we'll go ahead and start. You're gonna come over here to settings, drop down, go down to applications. Once you get to applications, go all the way down to manage installed applications. And at any point in time, you're not sure or you want to take your time with it, go ahead and pause the video. That way you know you're going in the right direction. Now, we're going to go to Diggs Fire, and right here in the top corner, you're going to see 17.3. That's how you know which one you are. The dot three, don't look at that or don't pretty much pay attention to that. Your 17 is your main focus. So we're on 17, so we're gonna go ahead and do that one. We're gonna click on it, drop down here to clear data, click it again. Clear cache, do the same thing. Now, hit your back button right here, you're gonna drop in, then you click right back in. Once you're done, you're gonna look right here and it's gonna show your data and your cache, that way you can kinda of make sure what's cleared and what's not. Now we're going to show you how to actually do the update. Once you're done doing what I just did, you're going to load back up and we'll go ahead and start. Once you come in, you're at the base. Once you get to the base, you're going to come up here, right where you see that gear symbol, top left corner, click it, come over here, system settings, Come down to add-ons and you're going to click these both of these boxes on. You're going to click yes to that. Now, hitting your back button. Back button again. Oh, excuse me. Come down here to file manager. Click right in there. We're going to go ahead and add the source. Now, you're going to have to enter it in exactly like I have it in here. Now I know some of y'all may not do it quite as fast as I do. So go ahead and pause it. Make sure you can see it good. Yeah, you can see it. Pause it if you need to. You need to make sure you enter this exactly like you see it. Once you're done, go ahead and hit OK. You're going to see Steam pop up at the bottom right there. That's just a name for it. Hit OK. Back. Back. Now, you're back on your main screen. You're going to go ahead and click on add-ons right here. You're going to go to your Dropbox symbol. Click on there. You're going to install from the zip. This is going to be your first step. It was called Steam, so we're going to go into Steam. Now, you see the plug-in right here? This is what you're actually loading in. You're going to click it. Give it a second. Sometimes it takes a minute or so, depending on your internet speed. So we're going to wait for it, and then it's going to pop up. Top right corner, Steam is enabled. Go straight up to my add-ons, then come down to program add-ons, and you're gonna see it sitting here. Click on it, click open, and then you're gonna see Steam 3.1. When the newer Steam comes out, you'll see 3.2 and vice versa. Keep a look out on my Facebook page, that's where I do most of my updates as far as when I'm releasing these. So we we'll go ahead and click on it, and it's going to go ahead and download. Depending on your internet speed is going to be how long it takes. Now this is a complete build. The smaller builds are faster as far as loading and unloading, but the complete build has everything in it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it. That way you're not waiting through it. All right, it's almost finished doing the download. If you do see it to where it dims down because it takes a little while, only hit the top portion of this ring. If you hit the center, you're going to cancel it. Now, as you see, after it's downloaded, it's going to go ahead and extract the files. Once it's finished extracting, you'll follow these next steps. All right, you see it went black right there? Go ahead and hit the top portion. It'll brighten it back up. We're almost done extracting. Go ahead and wait for it to finish up. All right. Now, 
Normally, we used to pull the plug on it at this point and plug it back in, but we're gonna do it different, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna come over to the left, click on close, and you're gonna see this pop up. At this point, hit your home button right here on your remote. It's gonna bring you back to the main screen. Just like you went to start, you're gonna go back to settings, drop down, go down to applications, manage installed applications, the expired. Now, at this point, you see you've got a lot of data right there, but we're gonna clear the cache as soon as we start. So the first thing we're gonna do now is go ahead and click your four stop, then launch your application. And this is gonna start you back up. All right, once you get here, Chances are you're going to start seeing some add-ons updated and everything else. Give it a second to warm up because once you start moving around, you're going to start seeing everything pop up or whatnot, and you want to make sure that you be able to clear these cache and packages. So we're going to give it a sign. Now everything's done. We're we'll going to go ahead and clear the cache. I already did it, so it's going to show, okay, there's zero for me. Purge packages. Chances are you'll see three and probably 27 or 28 right there. Now, once you're done right there, everything's done. You can go ahead and start using your app.